Hi, this is Nell from Mongoose Enablement Scene. This is a continuation video of how to use Runtime Form Builder. So if you have missed the first part of it, I suggest you to check it first. The video briefly discuss how we can create a new form based on existing templates. On this lesson, we are going to create all the required forms needed to create our own template. But before that, let's see first what are needed. To check that, open the form WS Form Builder Layouts. This form will show us a well-organized list of templates that the form builder is using. To build our own template, we need a master form, derived form, a master and derived tile form, only if the main form has it. Since we are now aware of all the required forms, we can start working with our template. For this example, we are going to create a simple widget that will list down all the records on our IDO. This list will appear in a list view that is utilizing a tile form with image on it. Let's now go to design mode and start building our first form, which is the master form. Click the new form wizard, create a new form, let's say we want this to be a flex form. Let's make a standard naming convention so we can easily identify that these forms belong to form builder. So let's say WS form builder my form template. Click next then finish. Since this is a flex form, we are expecting three default regions. First step is to remove the two extra regions. Change the orientation to fill, then click OK. Now let's resize the form. We want our widget to be a bit narrower, but let's keep the same height. We can now start building the content of our widget. First is to put margins on all the sides and make sure that every region that has content will set its orientation to fill. Our widget will have a logo, so let's divide the region into header and main content. Let's put another flex layout on the header and create a placeholder for our logo. The best way to do this is by adding new region, then adjust the size of it. After that, we can finally add the button. Change the theme class into clear button, then select the infer logo on the bitmap file name. After that, get a grid view from our toolbox and put it on the content of our form. Let's leave it this way since our form will be using a tile form to represent the green. For our final step to make our master form complete, go to the form attribute and change the initial command to form refresh. Next on list is to create a derived form. Just open the new form wizard, select the extent an existing form, give a name, and select our master form on the list. After that, Click next, then finish. And that will instantly give you a derived form that is a exact copy of our master form. Next in line would be our tile form for our grid view. Just open again the new form wizard, select the build from scratch, and give a name to our form. Click next and then finish. Let's resize our form, then start dragging static fields. The static field for our image should set to image only and the binary data to image. Finally, the colon should not appear on this field. For the remaining static fields, make sure that the justification is set to left and the no colon property is set to true. At this point, our master form is now ready. Now, let's create our derived tile form. Open the new form wizard, extend the form, name this based on our naming convention, then select our base master tile form. After clicking the next and finish button, Mongoose will create for us another form based on our master. Seems all our forms are now ready. On the next video, we are going to put things all together on the layout form. Then we will try to produce a form based on our template. See you there!